Go Ryan would be proud of your actions. Party's reputation increasing by one for not taking someone else's money. Yay, for doing the right thing. Well, at least it's good people as far as they're concerned. Needs not quite as much help as I thought. For uh, other people, it might have been the right thing to take their money and run. There's <laughs> the garrison. Who's this man with a sword? Stand and deliver, that my hamster might have a better look at you. <laughs> Talking about a hamster? Let us pass, strangers, for we have not much time to waste. What? Yes, I'll ask them. Who would I go to rescue my charge down here? You may aid in our victory if you wish. There is glory enough for all. <laughs> Carrot stunned, asking me, excuse me, but are you speaking to a rodent? Boo is my faithful animal companion, and more than he seems. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Karen really not sure what to say about this. I mean, it does seem like uh, this uh, Minsk character that uh, his charge Diny here has been captured and needs a rescuing. I mean, considering Kara does want to uh, have heroic tales told about him, <laughs> why the hell not? Besides, he looks like a capable warrior and... Uh, we could use someone to help Khalid on the front line. So, the classic dilemma of the damsel in distress. How could anyone decline? Take heart, fellow adventurers, for you have curried the favor of Boo, the only miniature giant space hamster in the realm. My friend and companion ever since my <laughs> head wound, he will lead us to victory. Onward to the Knoll stronghold in the west. Terry Dot, we must go soon. And yes, although I'm reading uh, Minska's dialogue, and uh, I cannot even begin to measure up to the voice acting of Jim Cummings, who originally voiced Minsk, probably one of the most popular characters in the Boulder Skate series, I'm reading everyone's dialogue that isn't voiced, so I hope it's not too terrible. Wow, a damsel in distress and a brave warrior to come rescue her. I wish that would happen to me. Actually, no I don't. I don't mind the brave warrior, as long as he's handsome, but the part about being in danger, I could do without. Minsk will rescue a nice girl like you, fear not! But now it's glorious Dinah here that we need to rescue. Onward, friends! Okay, Minsk joining the party. Cool one, <laughs> Wow, Minsk very strong. And very dumb. And not very wise and apparently uh, currying the favor of a miniature giant space hamster named Boo. A level 2 ranger. Proficient with two-handed swords, maces, and two-weapon style. Oh, so he's fairly versatile. That's good. Very good. Coming with a two-handed sword. And studded leather armor. Interestingly enough, studded leather armor is a fantasy. Uh, this armor never actually existed historically. Uh, it was created for the Dungeons & Dragons universe because uh, when they were looking through all of the medieval armors for inspiration, for equipment for the game, they found what was actually called brigandine armor, which was a usually a, like a cloth or a leather jerkin which had metal plates inside of it. And the little dots all over it were actually the stamps that were used to hold the plates in place on the, uh, the leather or cloth material. And so, uh, you know, they, they originally described it as being uh, having these metal rivets and they're supposed to protect you. <laughs> that really wouldn't work at all. I mean, the metal rivets, if you got hit, would be driven into your skin, which is obviously not good. So... It was actually originally brigandine armor, metal plates that were bolted, uh, bolted to it, with the cloth material. So, a little bit of fun history there. And there's Boo. Boo is a fuzzy little hamster. While Minska believes that Boo is a miniature giant space hamster, we are rather certain that the tiny rodent is just a normal hamster. Let's try to take Boo. 
Boo scuttles away as you try to grab him, and Minsk stops any further attempt to steal the animal with a harsh glare. Alright, I guess we'll leave uh, Boo alone. It's the honorable thing to do. Alright, so now that we have a big meaty guy like Minsk, let's do the only reasonable thing and make him the leader of the party. No, I'm kidding. You point, I punch. Alright, Carrot will take the lead. I shall endeavor to be an inspiring example. Uh, have Minsk be uh, the number two to protect him. So here in the middle of everyone, Khalid will protect the rear. Ready. So we'll probably try a new formation now that we have five people. What does this look like? No. How about this? Well, that would work if one of Khalid took uh, his place. I'll keep that one. This one's not good. There's always a line. Can't really go wrong with a line. There's a straight line for narrow passageways. Mm, what else is there? There's a star formation. Mm, that could work if arranged properly. And a more circular formation. Yeah, that's good. For now, I think I'll stick with uh, the star formation. That seemed to work. Keeps care in the middle and protected. Alright, entering the garrison. Seeing if there's any work to be done around here. Stand away, citizen! Hey there, who told you that you could come in here? This place is only for members of the Amish soldiery. Little snot noses like you, you're not welcome here. Come on, get out of here before I have to kick your butts. Cared. Hey, I'm sorry, we didn't know this was the barracks. Actually, we did. He's lying. Well, get out right now, okay? Good, run off with your tails between your legs. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have important business. Get out of my way. So, apparently, uh, at least that Amish soldier is a real dickhead. What can you do? How are these guys? I wouldn't dream of refusing. One more reason to dislike Om. Hmm. Hmm, the Belching Dragon Tavern. Sounds appealing. Uh, poet? Who's this guy? Volo. Whatever I can do to help. Uh, yes, the, uh, a tab. Um, now another ale, young miss. I'll be sure to have your funds ready. Greetings, fellow traveler, for I see by your garb that you do not call this place home. Sit with me a while and enjoy the atmosphere of this fine affair while we recant tales of land far and far-seeming. I have wondered the width and breadth of Faerun, and yet I have to find such, and yet have I to find such hospitality as that of a simple country festival. It's a shame that the festivities are, mar are marred by the events as of recent, though they certainly put up a brave face, do they not? You look confused, so perhaps you know not of the local trouble that continues to vex the most gracious people of Neshkel. If you have just arrived, I could, for the price of a nail and an ear, relate what I know. Shall I tell you of their mining difficulties, or relate the tale of their unfortunate commander of the guard? Cared had heard a bit about both, but I think this guy seemed to know what he's talking about, so let's see what he knows about the mines. The word is that across all the expansive Sword Coast, from the Cloud Peaks to the Baldur's Gate, an ore shortage is severely crippling local trade. Bandits, purportedly both human and demi-human, raid caravans, whilst ore reaching its destination becomes brittle and useless following smelting, strangely affected by an odd, iron-weakening plague. As though this were not cause for alarm in itself, production at the mine outside of Neshkel has fallen with the substantially lower yields being blamed on nervous workers. Mysterious disappearances of several miners have set the whole area on edge, or something must shift the balance to one side or the other. Asking Volo will he consent to another tale about the captain of the guard. Just let me finish my drink, and then we can carry on through the wee hours with our tales. Okay. 
Got enough time? Just it's surprising what one can learn at a simple country fair, huh? Oh, hello again, my inquisitive friend. I trust you are enjoying the local color. I wonder if you have come to hear more about my journeys. So, the story about the captain of the guard sounds compelling. Might I hear it? I hear that Commander Brage of the Amish Guard has been missing for some weeks now, following a strange alteration in his behavior. Where once he was a well-thought-of family man, he has turned to senseless mayhem, affecting a rampage the likes of which I have never heard. His fellow soldiers noted nothing out of sorts that could trigger such a transformation, but one notable item seems relevant. If not for the iron shortage, it would have gone unnoticed. But prior to his mad rage, the commander procured a new sword. The importance of this information, I have no way of verifying. Interesting. Carried saying, interesting story to be sure. Well met, Volo, and good luck on your journeys. And you as well. I am quite certain our paths will cross again.